Ginawa akong buwan. Sorry na. Buwan ko. Good evening. We will begin our celebration tonight. Please stand and we will sing song number one on page 40, Mother of Perpetual Help. Oh, Mother of Perpetual Help, to thee we come imploring help. Behold us here from far and near To ask of thee our help to be Behold us here from far and near To ask of thee our help to be in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us kneel as we gather together to honor our mother of perpetual help. We recall how she helped others. Her whole life was a lesson in love. Mother of perpetual help, today we face so many difficulties. Your picture tells us so much about you. It reminds us to reach out and help those in need. Help us to understand that our lives belong to others as much as they belong to us. Mary, model of Christian love, we know we cannot heal every ill or solve every problem, but with God's grace, we intend to do what we can. May we be true witnesses to the world that love for one another really matters. May our daily actions proclaim how fully our lives are modeled after yours, Mother of Perpetual Help. Mary, you are a woman of steadfast faith. Your faith in Jesus never wavered. Model of all believers, pray to the Holy Spirit for us. Help us not only to accept all your Son teaches us, but to put that teaching into practice. Mother of perpetual help, as a child, Jesus ran to you for comfort and reassurance. You did not see him as only a frail child. Moved by the Holy Spirit, you accepted Jesus as the Son of the Most High, the long-awaited Messiah. Following your example of faith, 
Help us to recognize Jesus in those we meet, especially the poor and the lonely, the sick and the elderly. Keep us always mindful, dear Mother, that whatever we do to the least of our brothers and sisters, we do to your loving Son. May his words live in our hearts and influence our lives and the lives of those we meet. Let us stand as we present our petitions. Grant wisdom and guidance to our Holy Father, Pope Francis, our Bishop Jose, our leaders and all the leaders of our nation, state, and community. May your mother intercede for us, Lord. Grant peace and unity throughout the world, especially in our homes and families. May your mother intercede for us, Lord. Grant that young people respond generously to the call of the Holy Spirit in deepening their faith and choosing their vocation in life. May your mother intercede for us, Lord. Grant us continued health of mind and body and help the sick, especially those who are sick of the coronavirus, to regain their health according to your holy will. May your mother intercede for us, Lord. Grant eternal rest to all our deceased, especially those who have died of this pandemic, and to the souls of all the faithful departed. May your mother intercede for us, Lord. Let us pause now to silently present our own personal petitions to our mother of perpetual help. And let us kneel as we continue our prayers. Mary, humble handmaid of the Lord, we need your example today to discover God's will in our lives. You always give God the first place in your life, just as you pondered his word in your heart. Help each of us to seek his plan in all that we do. Give us the conviction that nothing is more important than doing the will of our Heavenly Father. May we spend each moment in loving and pleasing him. Help us to follow his example in proclaiming, I am the servant of the Lord. I will what God wills when he wills it, as he wills it, because he wills it. Mother of perpetual help, your picture reminds us that we are to carry our cross as Jesus did. With courage, he endured injustice, abandonment and betrayal, pain and suffering, even a criminal's death. Mary, we turn to you as our model in suffering and courage. You shared in your son's suffering and death. Now you share in his resurrection. We too share in the cross of Christ and someday, like you, we will share fully in his resurrection. Help us to be patient in our suffering and to trust in the loving care of our Father in heaven. May those suffering sickness in mind and body experience your son's healing power. Help us to follow his example and through him, with him, and in him, commend ourselves to the care of the heavenly Father. Let us ask Mary to watch over all families. Mother of perpetual help, bless our families with your tender motherly love. May the sacrament of marriage bring husbands and wives ever closer together, that they may always be faithful and love each other as Christ loves us. Help all mothers and fathers love and cherish the children God has entrusted to them. May they always be models of a truly Christian life. Help all children that they may love and respect their parents. Inspire all people to value Christian marriage and family life. Give us a sense of responsibility that we may do our part in making our homes havens of love and peace. Mary, our model, help every family to grow daily in genuine love for God and neighbor so that justice and peace may flourish everywhere in the human family. From the first moment of her existence, the Holy Spirit filled Mary with his love. By his power, she became the Virgin Mother of God. Through the same Holy Spirit, she became the perfect wife, the perfect mother. Let us imitate her generosity her openness to the Holy Spirit and say, 
Come, Come Holy, Holy Spirit. Spirit. Fill our hearts with your joy and peace, with your power and your love, with your constant presence within us. Let us receive the Holy Spirit. May he be with us to strengthen us, above us to protect us, before us to lead us, behind us to encourage us, within us to possess us totally. Through the prayers of our holy patron, St. Alphonsus, through the intercession of our Mother of Perpetual Help, through the merits of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, present in the most blessed sacrament of the altar, may the blessings of the Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit descend upon us and remain forever. Amen. Let us stand now and unite with the Christians of all ages in praising Mary and in committing ourselves to her powerful protection. Hail, Hail Mary, Mary, full, full of, of grace, grace, the Lord, Lord is with thee. thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy, thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Together, let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, who gave us your mother Mary, whose image we venerate as a mother ready at every moment to help us, grant, we beg you, that we who call on her help may always enjoy the fruit of your redemption. This we ask through you, who live and reign forever. Amen. We will sing song number three on page 41. Immaculate Mother, to you do we plead to ask God our Father for help in our need. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave, Ave, Ave Please turn to page 19, Evening Prayers for Week 2. Do not let your hearts be troubled. Have faith in me. Alleluia. In God alone is my soul at rest. My help comes from Him. He alone is my rock, my stronghold, my fortress. I stand firm. How long will you all attack one man to break him down? as though he were a tottering wall or a tumbling fence. Their plan is only to destroy. They take pleasure in lies. With their mouth they utter blessing, but in their heart they curse. In God alone be at rest, my soul, for my hope comes from him. He alone is my rock, my stronghold, my fortress, I stand firm. In God is my safety and glory, the rock of my strength. Take refuge in God, all you people. Trust him at all times. Pour out your hearts before him, for God is our refuge. Common folk are only a breath, great men and illusion. Placed in the scales, they rise. They weigh less than a breath. Do not put your trust in oppression, nor vain hopes on plunder. Do not set your heart on riches, even when they increase. For God has said only one thing, 
only two do I know, that to God alone belongs power, and to you, Lord, love, and that you repay each man according to his deeds. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Lord God, you reward each one according to his works. Hear us as we pour out our hearts to you, seeking your grace and secure protection. We look to you for our stable hope in a constantly changing world. Do not let your hearts be troubled. Have, Have faith, faith in me. Alleluia. Let the peoples praise you, Lord God. Let them rejoice in your salvation. Alleluia. O God, be gracious and bless us, and let your face shed its light upon us. For you will your ways be known upon earth, and all nations learn your saving help. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. Let the nations be glad and exult, for you rule the world with justice. With fairness you rule the peoples. You guide the nations on earth. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. The earth has yielded its fruit, for God our God has blessed us. May God still give us his blessing, till the ends of the earth revere him. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Be, be gracious and bless us, us Lord, and, and let your face shed its light on us, so that we can make you known with reverence and bring forth a harvest of justice. Let the peoples praise you, Lord God. Let them rejoice in your salvation. Alleluia. His glory covers the heavens, and his praise fills the earth. Alleluia. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. For he has looked upon his handmaid's lowliness. Behold, from now on, will all ages call me blessed. The Mighty One has done great things for me, and holy is his name. His mercy is from age to age on those who fear him. He has shown might with his arm, dispersed the arrogant of mind and heart. He has thrown down the rulers from their thrones, but lifted up the lowly. The hungry he has filled with good things, the rich he has sent away empty. He has helped Israel, his servant, remembering his mercy, according to his promise to our fathers, to Abraham and to his descendants forever. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. His, his glory, glory covers, covers the heavens, and his praise fills, fills the earth. Alleluia. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Some who had come down from Judea were instructing the brothers, unless you are circumcised according to the Mosaic practice, you cannot be saved. Because there arose no little decision and debate by Paul and Barnabas with them. It was decided that Paul, Barnabas, and some of the others should go up to Jerusalem to the apostles and presbyters about this question. They were sent on their journey by the church and passed through Punasia and Samaria, telling of the conversion of the Gentiles and brought great joy to all the brethren. 
When they arrived in Jerusalem, they were welcomed by the church, as well as by the apostles and the presbyters, and they reported what God had done with them. But some from the party of the Pharisees, who had become believers, stood up and said, it is necessary to circumcise them and direct them to observe the Mosaic law. The apostles and the presbyters meet together to see about this matter. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Keep us, O Lord, as the apple of your eye. Keep us, O Lord, as the apple of your eye. Gather us under the shadow of your wings and keep us. As the apple of your eye. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Keep us, O Lord, as the apple of your eye. Beloved brothers and sisters, let us rejoice in our God. For he takes great delight in bestowing benefits on his people. Let us fervently pray. Increase your grace and your peace, Lord. Eternal God, for whom a thousand years are like the passing day. Help us to remember that life is like a flower which blossoms in the morning but withers in the evening. Give your people manna to satisfy their hunger. And living water to quench their thirst for all eternity. Let your faithful ones seek and taste the things that are above. And let them direct their work and their leisure to your glory. Grant us good weather, Lord. That we may reap the copious fruits of the earth. Deliver us from all harm, Lord. And pour out your abundant blessings on our homes. Show the faithful departed the vision of your face. Let them rejoice in the contemplation of your presence. And together, let us pray the prayer which Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art, who art in, heaven, in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. And together, let us pray. Lord God, holy is your name, and renowned your compassion, cherished by every generation. Hear our evening prayer, and let us sing your praise, and proclaim your greatness forever. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. O salutaris hostia, que celipan dis hostium. Bella premum hostilia, Minor 
sit sempiterna gloria. Qui vitam sine Tanto mergo sacramento venere morcernuvi et anti Christed fides supplementum sensum defectui genitori genitoque lausetu Salus honor virtus coque, sit et benedictio, procedenti abutruque comparsit, Laudasio. Amen. Amen. Helping all the sweetness within me.
Blessed be God. Blessed be His holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be His most sacred heart. Blessed be His most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Paraclete. Blessed be the Great Mother of God, Mary Most Holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God in his angels and in his saints. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every sacrament most holy O sacrament divine all praise and all thanksgiving be every sacrament most holy O sacrament divine all praise and all thanksgiving be 